Hey guys, Todd here. Today I want to show you how to install the Elevate rack system with the T-slot rail, whether or not you're going to be installing an inside mount tonneau cover. And we're going to be doing that on this 2022 Ford Maverick, but the installation is very similar on other applications. For this installation, I'll be using a pair of Allen wrenches, an eighth inch and a three sixteenths. I'll also use a half inch socket with ratchet, a pair of scissors and a tape measure. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a T-slot rail that comes with your Elevate rack system. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can install this. One is just the rails and the racks by themselves, or you can also install this with an inside mount tonneau cover. We are going to be installing it with the tonneau cover, so I'm gonna show you the extra steps along with that. Um, with that, you'll also see how to install the rail by itself. Uh, and first, we're gonna to need to assemble the rail, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, now in your kit, you're gonna have four rail end caps. Now those are a mirror image of each other. Uh, they're actually gonna slide into the rail on each side. Before you slide them into the rail, you wanna take your hex head set screw and go ahead and get it started into the threads on this plastic end cap. Uh, don't cross thread that. You just wanna make sure you're nice, carefully and easily, just set that in place and make sure that set screw is not coming through the bottom just yet. Now this surface right here, I've already rubbed down with some isopropyl alcohol. And what I'm gonna do is in my kit, I'm gonna take out some seals and peel off the seal from the bottom. And that will go right onto the bottom of here. Then we're gonna line that up to the rail and then we'll be snugging that down. Before we snug that down though, go ahead and slide that back out. What we're gonna do is in our kit, we're also gonna have a couple of different sizes of T-bolts. Uh, what we're gonna do is insert two of our short T-bolts first. Then we're going to insert all four of our tall T-bolts. And then another two short T-bolts. Once those are in, then you can go ahead and insert the end cap and snug it down. Do not over tighten that because it is plastic. You just want to get it nice and snug. Uh, and then also do the same uh, on the opposite side. All right, now what we're going to do is take our Elevate rail and we're going to set it up on top of our bed cap. Make sure you center it front to back and use a tape measure to make sure that both rails are the same distance from the end of the rail to your cab. Uh, make sure that's even, and then if you're just running the, the rail, you can clamp it down using the provided clamps. They just slide up into your bed cap, and then the clamp will actually mate into the grooves on the rail, and you tighten it down with a half inch. We are going to also be installing a tonneau cover on top of that, so let me show you the extra steps. All right, now in our kit, we're gonna have a roll of really thick seal. What that's for uh, is to make the thickness difference between uh, the, the bed cap and the side of our rail. So I've gone ahead and cut a piece off that's gonna fit into this place. What I'm gonna do is peel the 3M tape protector off and then slide that in place. We're gonna do that on both sides, front and back and for both rails. Again, make sure the end of the rail is the same distance from the cab on both sides. All right, now because the cover that we're installing has a rail that not only meets to the side of the bed cap, but also wraps over the top of the bed cap, we're gonna take this piece of gap seal out of our kit. I've already cut a piece out and we're gonna install it right here. All right, and make sure you do that on all four corners. Okay, now the cover that we're going to be installing is the Truxedo Pro X15. Now, some covers you can actually get away with just installing the rail and, and clamping it down. Other covers, the seal on the inside ends up being too thick and added with the thickness of the extrusion on the T-slot rail, pushes it in too far and then things don't close properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the seal and replace it with a very thin seal that comes in your kit. So just basically peel it off. We'll go nice and slow with it. And 
Next on this vertical surface where it mates to the rail, we're gonna go ahead and take our very thin seal out of our kit and apply it to the edge of the rail. I'm gonna give you two strips in here so you can do one for each rail. So what we're gonna do is peel away just a little bit on one end. We're gonna go ahead and go up to the edge of the rail, get it all up, all the way up into the corner. And when you get down to the end, just go ahead and cut it in place with a pair of scissors. Make sure you do that with both rails. We can go ahead and mount it to the T-slot rail. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and place a clamp right up in here. This is one of your clamps. Now, if you've just got the T-slot rail, we're gonna clamp it on the exact same way that you would with the tonneau cover rail. So what we're gonna do, we're looking at the, the clamp here. You'll notice I've got two notches. The clamp is nested into the higher notch. What I'm gonna do is pull that clamp apart, reach up into the bed cap. You wanna go as high up on that rail as you can, keeping everything uh, straight and level. And then we're going to turn the bolt by hand to get it finger tight and then use a half inch wrench or ratchet and we're going to kind of get that snug down just a little bit and then make sure everything is nice and uh, flat and drawn down up at the top tighten that down the rest of the way all right now that we've got the center clamp installed go ahead and install the other two clamps the exact same way just make sure the front clamp is as close to the bulkhead as possible while still clamping onto metal flange. Same with the rear clamp, make sure it's as close to the tailgate as possible while still clamping on a metal flange underneath the bed cap. Next, what we're gonna do is go ahead and install our tie down cleats to a rail. We're installing these to our four uh, taller uh, T-bolts that we slid into the rail. So these are the shorter ones. These go to our towers for our uprights and these, uh, uh, taller bolts are going to go to our tie down cleats. So we're just going to put a nut uh, and flat washer on top of the tie down cleats. We're not going to tighten them down just yet. We're, we're going to do that after we set the towers in place. Repeat that on the opposite side as well. Now in your kit, you're going to have two different types of lower supports for your towers. One is going to have a cutout and one is not. The one that is not, that actually goes for a different application, so we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use the one with the U-shaped cutout. And what we're gonna do is take our shorter bolts, go ahead and space those apart, and that's just gonna ride right over top of that. You'll notice that this kind of cradles right over top of a T-slot rail. Next, what we're gonna do is find one of our towers. This is the base of the tower, this is the top. You'll see it's offset to one side. That needs to be pointed to the inside of the truck. So we're gonna take and set that in place and push that right over top of the base. Over top of each one of our bolts coming up, we're gonna use a flat washer and then also an acorn nut. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and set it in place where you want it. Uh, make sure it's even on both sides and go ahead and tighten that down using a half inch wrench or ratchet. All right, now with this locked down, what we're gonna do is install the load bars the exact same way you would if you were to install it with the XR rails. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. All right, now here is one of our load bars. The top of our load bar is gonna be angled up and the bottom of our load bar is gonna be flat. On the bottom of a load bar, we're gonna go ahead and insert four of our smaller one inch T-bolts. We're gonna keep two to this side and two to the other side. Okay, now before we set our load bar, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our uprights. We're gonna make sure that both uprights are the same distance from the end of the upright to the end of the rail. We're using a half inch ratchet for this. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my load bar up on top of the uprights. Now these bolts are gonna to have to drop down through these holes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them spaced. We wanna go ahead and drop that down with the bolts going through on both sides. All 
All right, now we want to make sure that our load bar is centered on our upright so the same amount is hanging off of both sides. When it's flat against here, this upright should tip in about two degrees into the bed of the truck. We're also going to go ahead and insert our uh, washer and cap head nut on the end of our T-bolts and get them snug down once everything is lined up. Do that on both sides. Okay, so here's our end cap. What you're gonna notice is we've got a couple of threaded holes in the top and bottom. Uh, we've also got some set screws that work with an Allen wrench that comes in your kit. What we're gonna do is go ahead and insert those set screws into the threaded holes, making sure they're not coming through yet. Um, do that on top and bottom. Once you've got those in there, uh, we're going to insert the end cap into the end of the load bar and then tighten it down, but do not over tighten these because you don't want to strip out those plastic threads. Repeat the same on the opposite side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and insert our weather stripping that helps to reduce wind noise. When we get to the other side, we're going to use a utility knife to cut it in place. Repeat the same process for the uprights and the load bar in the back, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to adjust the right height for the load bars. In your kit, you're going to have an, an Allen wrench that's going to fit right into these Allen head screws, and then take a half inch wrench and loosen up that hardware. All right, now what I can do is remove these two bolts from this upright and these two bolts from this upright and allow both uprights to slide down to where the the holes in this tube line up to the holes in this tube. Then I can reinsert the hardware and tighten it all down. All right, now just repeat the same on the opposite side and repeat the same for the rear load bar. If you're not running a tonneau cover, then you're all done. If you are running a tonneau cover, just finish putting that on and that will conclude the installation. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.